Hey everybody, welcome back to Begin Again. In my last video, I went to the Dallas Carding Complex to meet up with Mike Jones to unbox and begin installing my brand new rock shifter engine. And in this episode, we're going to finish the installation of the engine and then we're going to fire it up for the very first time. Thanks for watching. Okay, so uh, next at this point, we can go ahead and hook up a throttle cable. So here's our needle. Yep. Which just slips down into the slide. So we have a half step. Huh. Okay. Yeah. So there's obviously the, the setting, and it's yep. on. It's on two. The one is the leanest, or, or the top is the leanest, what we call one. Right now it's on two. Yep. Well, I can put the washer on the bottom. And now it's actually going to be on two and a half. <laughs> yeah. So now we have half step increments. I like that. And that's, what's where, that's just where we're going to start for today. If, when we get ready to start it up, just drop the needle down. Yep. And then uh, put our nut on. That's very cool. But we do have to swap out the emulsion tube to a DQ-268. Okay. Um, I can only assume that maybe the rules are a little bit different in Europe than what they are here. Yep. And, uh, but it's an easy fix and, and we can do that. We can do that even at the track, it's easy. It'll start and run just the way it is, that's fine. But as far as legality reasons, or keeping it legal with Vortex Rock, then we do need to switch the emulsion tube to a DQ-268. Okay. Thread the cable under the throttle cable sheathing. Yep. Gonna leave a little bit of cable hanging out at this point. Put the car boot in. Push the sheathing all the way into the rubber boot. Next goes in our spring. The little brass keeper will always be at the bottom. At the bottom? Done. Yes, sir. Yep. So when it's upside down, yep. it'll meet the uh, slide yep. this way. So has the little uh, end piece on the throttle cable. It's just yep. going to slip right into there. Yep. At this point. So we have two different. We have a front and a back on the slide, okay? We have a beveled open, yep. beveled edge in the front. This is the back, which it's is just slide across. The beveled edge always goes to the front. To the front, okay. Otherwise your engine won't idle. No, no it won't. Just be real careful when you're dropping the slide in so we don't upset the needle. All the way to the bottom. Pull the throttle cable. And just screw on the carb cap. So we don't want to tighten that too much because we don't know what the tension on the belts are going to look like first. Right. So at this point we can go ahead and slide the belt on. Now, here's one thing to remember. With the Honda, it had an internal water pump. So even when we're sitting still and the engine's running, the yeah, water the pump wheels. is working. Right. The water pump's not working on an external water pump unless the wheels are turning. So the Micron will tell you the, the water temp, but when the water's not circulating, it's not ri raising in, in temperature right. because it's not circulating. So if we do just spin the axle or just roll the car forward, then the, the right number would display on the Micron. One thing nice about this uh, Sodi car water pump is even though we've pushed it all the way forward, mm -hmm. that um, all we need to do is put the tension on the, on the brushed aluminum part, not the black part. 
So we're just going to loosen up this pinch bolt, mm -hmm. and then we're going to rock the water pump back so we can get the belts a little tighter. Yeah, those little French guys think of stuff like this, you know. Oh, oh, oh. smart, <laughs> them Frenchies. <laughs> That looks great. So uh, now we're just going to finish up our plumbing. The uh, this is going to go into the engine side. Mm. Nope. <clears throat> Remember that uh, magic room I was telling you about? Yeah. If you take this back to the magic room, it, you make it grow, it actually comes back a different length. <laughs> it's weird. Sometimes it's shorter, sometimes longer. But it's so crazy. Many, Watch this. So I, many I, jokes I'm, in that sentence right there. So much. So many jokes. So much so wrong. Sorry. I didn't say anything. If you got a magic room at the house. <laughs> Dang. Magic. That's amazing. Yeah. How does he do it? How does he do it? It's magic. <laughs> yeah, we need to, uh, we'll put that in place. Well, what temp do you like to see? Um, so ideally if we can keep the water temperature Somewhere around 120. Okay. 120 degrees Fahrenheit is about what we've seen what makes maximum power on the engine dyno. Okay. Everything would take so much shorter if I could just see. So really this, uh, the coupler is kind of a preference as far as where it goes. Yep. Um, looks like you already had the plumbing right yep. over here. We'll just stick to where that is now. So I'm just gonna take, cut right where the other one was. Yep. trying to get that water up higher than the rest of the engine so it'll burp out all the air. Yeah, and interestingly enough, man, I don't need to add any more water. So. <clears throat> okay, guess I'm okay. So that's it. Now you know what it takes to go and unbox and mount a rock shifter engine. Super excited about this. I can't wait to go and drive it. I'm looking at somewhere around a 30 to 33% increase in horsepower. Um, I've got a stiffer chassis now with that uh, second seat strut. Um, just a lot of big upgrades on this. And of course, trying out the Levanto tires. It'll be great to experience that too. So just a huge shout out of thanks 
to Mike Jones and all the good folks at the Dallas Carding Complex. They've got all sorts of really cool stuff happening over there with track expansions and all that. So 2022 is shaping up to be a fantastic year for karting in North Texas. Stay tuned. Our next video is going to be all about me going out and driving this thing for the first time and getting my driving impressions. And I uh, can't wait to share that with you as well. So in the meantime, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to Begin Again yet, please do. It really helps us out. I really appreciate it. So until next time, we'll see you soon.